And I do want to start talking about a very important letter that we have in our collection. And I know the image is a little small. You can see this on our website um, if you go to our digital collections and scan all eight pages of it. <laughs> so as people know, Washington was kind of hesitant to run a second term. He'd been in politics for 40 years at that point, 40 plus years at that point, he he very much wanted to go back to Mount Vernon and retire under his own vine and his own fig tree. And so he spoke with Elizabeth about that and, and his cabinet um, that he wanted to step down. However, he had multiple conversations with Elizabeth about it. And this letter, she actually wrote this in response to their final conversation, which was the night before the month-long election process began. So this letter is incredibly powerful. It's eight pages long. It's full of reasons why, she, why Washington should continue on and serve a second term. She's upset that he would still like have this desire to step down even though um, it was the night before the election was beginning, it would be detrimental to society. And it's just, it's a great letter. And I actually have found some very neat things in my research that I'm gonna debut today on this video. Um, so two things that I've found is that this letter uh, has edits from her husband, Samuel, and that's, uh, that's, unique to this letter, at least from what I've found within her many, many letters that are located here at the, or at the uh, Historical Society of Pennsylvania, all, all over. Um, so that to me shows how important Elizabeth's opinion was to George, that even though Samuel read over the letter, they still decided to keep it in her hand because her hand and her ideas would carry the most weight as far as convincing him to run. And then the other thing I found is that they, uh, the she used um, a political treatise and borrowed some quotes from this from this book, and she crafted her own arguments within that book. So, or within with those with those sentiments from the book, and she used that for her letter. So she was very much taking inspiration from this book. And actually, Abigail Adams did something very similar with the Remember the Ladies letter from 1776. 